What's up guys, it's your girl Toya and welcome back to my channel. I have been summoned to do a lock video because I was told that I haven't been doing lock videos anymore and you guys want to see some updated lock videos. So here I am with a wash day routine for y'all, my peoples. <laughs> right now guys, my hair is a mess. I have not retwisted my hair since like... September or October, might have been October, I think it was my birthday month. So as you guys can see, I have a ton of new growth. I really just been kind of rocking it in plaits, like just kind of plaiting it up, twisting it up and just taking it out and rocking my curls or either I just been washing it and not retwisting at all. Um, so today I'm gonna do a retwist. I'm gonna show you guys what products I'm using and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair. And then I'm gonna come back and show you guys a little bit of how I retwist my locks and what I put in my hair. So to start, the first thing that I do, well, this is kind of something that I recently started doing before I washed my hair. I get my water bottle, Amazon, and some coconut oil. I think I got this from Amazon too. And what I do is I go through and I just spray my hair with water. Um, and then I apply a little bit of coconut oil in my hands and just kind of you know, massage it throughout my locks. I feel like this helps kind of retain a little bit of moisture throughout the washing process. And it kind of keeps my hair from getting like too dull, depending on what type of shampoo I use. Cause sometimes, you know, certain shampoos really strip your hair. But today I'm using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. Um, this is actually my daughter's shampoo because I ran out of shampoo, y'all. But I've used this before, so this is what I'm using today. I'm using whatever we got in here because I don't want to buy nothing else, okay? And then um, I'm going to go in with the Trader Joe's conditioner. I usually sometimes use this shampoo and conditioner from Trader Joe's. I really like it. It has peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus, eucalyptus <laughs> in it. So it feels really good on your scalp. Like if your scalp is really itchy or... Um, like really, really dry. This is the this is the shampoo and conditioner I usually like to use. However, this shampoo can be really stripping. So that's why I go in with the coconut oil first before and after I wash. So before and after I wash, I use coconut oil. Now, I think I told y'all before that I used to be like a product junkie. Not that girl I'm on, okay? It, I'm using what I got in the closet, okay? Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. So for me, on a regular, water, coconut oil, rose water, um, what other oil do I use, y'all? I know it's something else, and I can't really think about what it is. Let me see. I think I got it in my closet. Hold on. Um, the wild growth oil. I use this one or the Dugro oil, like, throughout my scalp. Maybe once a week. Not overdoing it. Um, but yeah, that's really all I'm using today, guys. Um, to retwist my locks, I use the... Yeah, I don't forget what the name of it. Let me go get that for y'all. Hold on. Oh, I use the Talia Wajid Tight Hole. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, I've been using this um, retwisting gel for probably maybe almost two years. Don't quote me on that. But it's like flake free. So it's not like going to cause buildup. It's not going to have your hair all flaky. At least my experience, that's how it's been. I haven't had any buildup or flaking while I've been using this. So... I'm a stick with what I know type of girl. If it works, I continue to use it. If it don't work, I go to something else. And then as far as how I retwist my locks, basic palm rolling, y'all. I just go through, retwist, palm roll it, take the clip, put the clip on. Um, I'm not one of those people that care about my parts. Um, I've had my locks for six years, so I don't really go through and part it. Sometimes when I get through the front, I mean, sometimes when I get to the front, I will take like a little rat tail comb and just make sure those parts aren't like, those locks aren't marrying together. But I really don't care, y'all. Half my locks are like married together. So, but yeah, this one I'm working with before. I ain't going to talk y'all to death. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and then I'm going to come back. But I'm going to show y'all how I do the, uh, my prep before I wash it. So let's do that real quick. Hair bottle. Let me take my glasses off because they're going to be full of product. All right, so I just go through and spray it. If you guys don't have one of these water bottles, you can get one. I got this from Amazon. It's just a continuing, continuous mist type of spray bottle. So you don't have to like keep, you know, squirting, 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 squirting. <laughs> just like hold it down and just keep going for you. Y'all look at that. I got so much new growth, child. I got a whole fro in the front. 
I got two hairstyles going on. Let me see. If I go like this, look like I got a fro. Look like I cut my lock. Look. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. All right, so we're just gonna spray a little bit of water. And like I said, this is just something that I recently started doing probably a couple of months ago. I haven't always done this. Um, so if you want to try it, try it. See how you like the outcome. Like I said, if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. My biggest lock tip is to do what works for you. Use products that work for you. Um, I'm an all natural product girl. So everything I put in my hair, as far as like my oils and stuff, um, is all natural. Coconut oil. Um, sometimes I use the, uh, I don't know why I'm having a brain fart, y'all. I feel like I can't remember none of the other oils I use on my hair. Um, but rose water, regular water. Um, and then sometimes I do the dew growth oil and the, um, wild growth oil on my scalp. Just don't overdo it because you don't want a lot of build up in your locks. I feel like coconut oil works for me because my hair, I just have dry, naturally dry hair. So um, coconut oil kind of gives me that sheen and shine a little bit, especially during the winter months. Like during the winter, y'all, my hair, did y'all see how my hair looked before I started putting this in? Child, it was just as dry as a Sahara Desert. But yeah, y'all done told me I don't do lock videos no more. So here I am, all right? Yeah, I am at people's. All right, I think that's enough. And then one more trick that I do that I might not have to do because I haven't retwisted in so long is if you're if you go to retwist your hair and the front of your hair, well, not even the front, like your hair in general, like your locks are still kind of uh, tightly twisted from your last retwist. What you should do is go in and unravel them a little bit so that when you go to wash your hair, you can make sure you're getting all up in there, getting any gunk, product, gel, jam, whatever, out of your locks, okay? I don't have that problem today because I haven't retwisted in about four or five months, so. Oh, and I don't feel like retwisting today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower and get my hair washed and then I'll be back once I finish washing my hair. A few minutes later. Ooh, all right, y'all. So I am back. Hair is freshly washed. As y'all can see, I'm using a just an old t-shirt that I use to dry my hair out. Um, so one tip I will give you guys, try not to use towels, like, because they can rip your hair. Get your old t-shirt, use that. Um, so remember I was telling y'all that there is another oil that I use on my scalp from time to time. And I couldn't remember what it was. Um, I recently started using this one, the Me L My L, however you pronounce it. It's the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I'm out of breath, y'all. All I did was just go, go up and down stairs real quick. Um, um, something that I use when I wash my hair, I want to show you guys, is this little like scrubber, scalp massaging scrubber, whatever. Um, because if you're like me and you get build up on your scalp from time to time, or you just get like that dirt and debris in your scalp and you need to lift it up good, I recommend getting one of these. This one is pretty soft. I got it off of Amazon. Try not to get any that are like too hard, the bristles. If I can find a link, I'll link it um, down below for you guys to purchase this one, but I've had it for a while. So um, I'm not sure if they still sell it on Amazon or not, but if I can find it, I'll link it. Whatever you do, do not use your fingernails. You can use like the tips of your, um, what's these called? Your fingers <laughs> and get through and get your scalp good if you don't have one of these. Don't scratch your scalp with your nails, y'all, okay? You're scratching your scalp, you're irritating your scalp, scalp can start bleeding, you don't wanna do that, okay? We wanna keep our scalp healthy. And one more thing before I start, matter of fact, I can talk as I pull my hair down. Um, when I first started my lock, um, there was a shampoo and conditioner that I used like all the time for at least the first three or four years that I had my locks. And it was the Argan Oil Cream of Nature. They have a shampoo and a conditioner um, and I pretty much stuck with that same shampoo and conditioner for about three years. I still use it from time to time, um, but I also switch it up just depending on how my hair and scalp is looking. Uh, so if I feel like I really need a deep, deep, deep cleanse, then I'll go and get the Trader Joe's one that I showed y'all. Um, and also, Miel has a brand as well that has like... Child, I'm about to break it. Lord have mercy. Excuse me, y'all. 
But um, Me Ale, My Ale, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. They have Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. This is a good one to use as well. And I use it on my daughter. Just stick with, I mean, if it's working, whatever y'all get. If you get a shampoo and condition that you feel like is really working, um, and you've been using it for several months, just stick with it. Or if you want to try something else, try something else. There's pr plenty of products out here. Everyone's hair type and texture is different. So do what works for you, okay? Do what works for you. Um, but I'm going to just try to blot as much water out as possible before I start retwisting. That way, I won't have to spend too much time under the dryer. So I do sit under the dryer for probably about maybe an hour and a half. And I put my dryer on like medium heat, never high, just medium heat. So I'm going to try to get as much water out the length of my locks as possible. And as I start retwisting my hair, sometimes like the roots of my hair will start to kind of dry out as I'm making my way from the back to the front because I always start at the back. Um, so when that happens, I use my spray bottle to just kind of mist it because you don't want to retwist while your hair is dry. Just make sure you got some type of moisture on your hair. All right, make sure I'm not knock nothing else down as you begin the retwist process. Let's see, I got some gray hairs, y'all. I got a couple gray hairs in there. Um, I've never had any break off, never really had any issues, uh, with my locks. So I feel like I've been doing a good job at taking care of them. I've only been to a shop maybe two or three times for a re a, re a wash and retwist. Other than that, I maintain my own lock. So my biggest tip to you guys who are just starting your lock journey or you're already in it, leave your hair alone. I know you're going to want to do a bunch of styles. You're going to want to have your hands in it and all that. Leave your hair alone. Let it do what it's supposed to do. It's called a lock journey for a reason. Your journey is not your neighbor's journey, your sister's journey, your cousin's journey. Remember, your journey is yours. Leave your hair alone. Keep it clean. Don't over retwist your hair. Don't over style your hair. Don't put too much tension on your hair. I don't really style my hair. I don't do a lot of ponytails and I, I retwist maybe once every two months. Um, and I just keep my hair moisturized with water, coconut oil, until it's time to wash again. But I don't do a whole lot of pulling on it, tugging on it, and all that stuff. The most that I do is probably putting rubber bands in it when I do like my plaits to keep it to get it curly. But other than that, leave your hair alone. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. All right. I wear my hair like with a side part. I usually retwist the same way. Always retwist your locks in the same direction as you've done it before. So try not to get in the habit of retwisting to the left one day, retwisting to the right the next time. Retwist it however you have been retwisting it or styling it. If you start doing your hair in different directions as far as retwisting, you're going to start to see thinning and breakage and you don't want that, okay? So let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Here I am. This is where I'm at so far. 
a little bit left on the top. My little top not fun, but I'm getting there, y'all. I am getting there. Ooh, child, my shoulders, my shoulders. My shoulders is toe up. Last one, last one. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to put that one on that side. All right, I'm done. So this is the final look. Hopefully I didn't forget any in the back. Sometimes I'll forget to retwist one and I don't know it until I go to take my clips out, but oh well, don't care. Do a spin around for y'all. That's how they looking. So I'm gonna sit up underneath the dryer and I'm gonna show y'all the dryer that I use. Um, I use this one, the Revlon. I what is it called, y'all? Revlon Ionic Soft Bonnet Dryer. So it's just like a bonnet head and it hooks to that. And this is what I've been using ever since I started my locks. Um, I had another one. I think Sana Lathan had. Not Sana Lathan, y'all. What's the lady name? Muhammad Ali daughter. Layla Ali. She had a brand that I was using, but once that one clumped out, I got this Revlon one. And I've been using this one for probably about two or three years. About an hour and a half or less on medium heat does the job. And then I'll come back, take these out, and over my scalp with some of this. And we're going to be done, y'all. Hours late. All right, y'all. So I'm officially done drying my hair. Let me make sure I have anything in my teeth because I went downstairs after I dried my hair. And I cooked Sunday dinner, so I still kept my clips in. Pretty much dry, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to take them out. Um, put a little bit of oil on my hands while I take my um, while I take my clips out. So let me go grab that. And after I take my clips out, I told you I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil on my scalp. I'm using this one. Boom, 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 boom. And that's going to be it. <laughs> All right, I think I got all my clips out. Sure. Because there have been times where I left out the house and still had like a clip or two up in here and didn't even realize it. And then I'm throwing my bonnet on and I'm going to Watch the Super Bowl. I always try to make sure I get it around my um, edges and the perimeter. Don't forget about them edges. All right, y'all. Here is the finished results of a successful wash and retwist day. I hope you guys enjoyed this lock video that y'all been asking for. So if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, whatever, leave them in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. But I want to say thank you guys so much for coming and tuning in and watching my video today. And I hope you guys, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you have not done so already, what are you waiting on? I'm going to need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, subscribe button, button, subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will catch you guys next time. So in the meantime, be safe, be blessed, peace.